Welcome everyone. My name is Christopher Dunsford. I'm the technical support manager here at OpenText eDocs. I've been at OpenText for about 17 years now. I've worked in a variety of positions ranging from customer support to R&D during that time. Today's eDocs training video will cover the four different eDocs save options. The save options that we'll discuss are classic save, fast save, quick save, and background save. Classic save. This save method can and is mostly used for all integrated applications. It's the default save method in eDocs 531 and below. With classic save, document interaction is blocked until the document is finished uploading. In eDocs 531p6 and above, we've removed the limit on our read-write buffers. Classic save takes advantage of those buffers for increased performance. Interceptor uses classic save, and you know this because when you do a save, you'll see the flying documents dialog. All right, let me show you a demo of Classic Save. So in eDocs 16 and in eDocs 10, the default save method for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint is background save. So what I'll have to do is come in here and uh, make sure that we set this to Classic Save. All right, let's go open up a document. We'll open up this Excel document. All right, I'm going to make an edit, and I'll do Control S. Now you'll see that while the dialog is appearing, I'm not able to interact with the document at all. I'm not able to do anything. I'm clicking in the document right now until uh, Control is released. So again, we'll do a Control S, and now I'm clicking in the document. It's doing nothing. Uploading. Clicking in the document again, clicking, okay, now I'm able to actually edit the document. So one caveat to this demonstration is I am in a distributed environment. So my client machine is in Florida, and my server is in Texas. So I've introduced a 50 millisecond ping time uh, between my client and my server. Now. I will say this, that I do have also have a server in Microsoft Azure on the East Coast, and its performance uh, with that is a lot better. It's um, almost as if I'm actually working with a local environment. So that's Classic Save. All right, Fast Save. So fast save, this works with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It's the precursor to background save. And I say precursor because we were developing background save. And uh, during the beta of this feature, we had a few customers that wanted the uh, flying documents dialog, the uploading dialog. So, um, and the reason for that is because their users have become accustomed to seeing the uploading dialog, and if they don't see the uploading dialog, they um, think that something is wrong with the save. So um, we came up with the background save, or developed the background save, but also have the fast save to go along with that. Um, with that being said, I wouldn't use the um, I wouldn't use the fast save. I would use the background save, um, just because. The of the flying documents dialog, um, it, it's in my opinion, it's annoying and it gets in the way. In background save, um, it just pops up a little bubble. It's not in your way. You're able to continue editing the document while the bubble is um, is at the forefront, and um, it also has a uh, some additional checks and balances for your saves. We'll go over that later. Um, again, um, with fast save, you will see the flying documents dialog, um, and um, it also takes advantage of the read-write buffers, however, so um, for performance. So um, let's go ahead and go into a demo of fast save. So fast save, we'll turn that on. All right, we'll open this Word document. Okay, 
I'm going to make an edit and control S and you'll see I do get an uploading dialog so what's the difference right so let me show you you could see that it was just a little bit faster let's do it again and there you go there it appears and there it's gone so it's just a little bit faster and um, actually while the document or while the dialogue is about to appear I can actually continue editing um, but once that dialogue appears it, it does block me so let me show you that so I'm gonna type test and I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna continue to type here but now I'm still typing and the dialogue now appears and it blocks my edit here so once it goes away I can come back and keep typing And that is Fasse. All right, so let's go ahead and move on from Fasse. Now, again, before we move on, let me just say with Fasse, I wouldn't use it. I would use background save if you're going to use one of these two methods. All right, let's move on to quick save before we get to background save. So quick save, uh, quick save actually works well in distributed environments. It's with uh, it works with MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and Project, Adobe Exchange as well, etc. Um, the interesting thing about Quick Save um, is the upload actually occurs on the document close. You'll get the flying documents dialog on the close, um, but while you're editing the document and you're pressing Save, Control S, etc. Uh, there's no upload occurring. What happens is is once you save that document that triggers a flag in edocs to let edocs know that hey when this document is closing we need to upload those changes um, it's re-implemented in edocs 531p uh, p5b and what i mean by re-implemented is years ago we had this with odma once we moved over to our vsto integration for office uh, we did not bring this forward until 531 p5b so let's get into a demo so let's turn it on and this is quick save on okay so let's go ahead and open up a document we'll go ahead and open up this Excel document okay I'm gonna make an edit here and I'm gonna press save now you can see there was no dialogue, there was no bubble, there was nothing. It just saved. Here I am working. I don't have to wait for anything. I'm editing my document. All right. Now I want to close the document. Let me make one more edit. I'm going to press save. So all my changes are saved locally. Now I'm going to close the document and I'll get an uploading document dialog. So once that dialog is dismissed, the document will actually close. All right. That is quick save. Background save. So again, distributed environments. Save background save works very well in distributed environments, just like quick save. Um, it works with Word, Excel, PowerPoint. It was introduced in 531P5B. Um, it was not made the default save method in uh, that patch, but it was introduced. So if you have 531P5B or P6, etc., you can use uh, background save. Uh, we did default the save method for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint to use background save in Edox 10 and above. Um, you do get an uploading bubble in the system tray down here, but you don't get the um, blocking uploading dialog. So you're able to continue working in the document like you saw with QuickSave, for example. It uploads documents in one megabyte chunks. So um, one thing to keep in mind is uh, background save does not uh, use the read-write buffers. It has its um, buffer already in the code, and it does it in one megabyte chunks. So it's pretty fast. Um, continue editing documents while a document is uploading. We already talked about that. 
if there's a network glitch, for example, um, during the save process, well, the background save is monitoring that save process, and if anything goes wrong, it will cancel that upload, and then it will reissue the upload, but it reissues it um, and sets itself to save with the classic save. Um, so that is the catch for background save, just in case. Um, also, shadowing must be enabled. Um, one of the things that we try to do is uh, increase overall performance with uh, DM531P5B and, and 10 by saying, okay, well, we don't want to just uh, increase performance on the uploads but on the downloads as well so that's where shadowing comes into play is on the downloads. so when you're editing documents in edocs and saving them those changes are going to your shadow as well so that later on when you come and try to open that document from edocs you'll get that shadow document um, so that you're not going across the wire and uh, and latency and uh, performance is greatly increased so let's go through a demo demo of background save Okay, so let's go to edocs and we'll open up this Word document. Okay, let's make an edit. Alright, I'm going to press the save button. Now you'll see you get the uploading dialog. So that's a big change from the actual um, uploading dialog. What I meant to say is you'll get the uploading bubble. That's a big change. So let's make another edit. And I'm going to um, I'm going to press Control S, and I'm going to keep editing while I'm working. So let's go up here, and I'm going to come here. This is a test. Control S. This is a test, control S, this is a test. So you can see that I'm able to continue editing the document while the upload is occurring. So I'll press the save button one more time. And at this point, we're ready to close the document. So there you have it, that's the background save. All right, let's talk about safety net, right? So um, if you're concerned about your edits, if you want to make sure that your users are covered in all scenarios, especially if you're working in a distributed environment. In a distributed environment, you could have network problems. You could have things that are preventing um, you know, proper uploads, for example. You want to have that safety net. So this is your safety net. So you can um, implement some registry keys that um, turn on the upload discrepancy notification messages. So if there's a discrepancy in the file size, for example, you'll get messages such as, you know, while you're working in the document, you'll get a message that says, um, hey, the server copy is newer than your local copy. Would you like um, to re reissue the upload? You'll get messages like that. Um, so you can turn those on with registry keys. There's also the Office Documents Backup feature. It backs up Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents when the save is initiated. So while you're working in the document, you're pressing the Save button, Control S, etc. When you do that, a backup will go into a backup location that you specify. Um, you also have the Auto Save. Um, auto Save um, came about in a patch for Edox DM10 P3. So if you have DM10 P3, and uh, you want that feature, you have to request the hotfix for that. In DM16, it's already in there. So it automatically saves Word, Excel, a PowerPoint document every X minutes, where X is a number from 1 to 10. So the user doesn't have to press anything. It's just saving behind the scenes. So if there's a power failure, etc., cetera, um, they'll have a backup location. Now, the autosave doesn't upload to eDocs. It just saves locally to uh, the uh, backup location. Save of unsaved documents. It creates backup of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint documents when document is closed and pending changes are discarded for that oops moment. So what that means is you're working on the document. Let's say um, 
you're working on a brand new document and um, you're typing away. Um, someone comes into your office, they kind of distract you for a minute, and then you need to jump on something else from that conversation. Um, you ex-close the document and say, no, I don't want to save changes. And then immediately you're having that oh no moment because you really wanted to save those changes. Your mind was just distracted. So if you have this feature turned on, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we save those changes for you in that backup location. So what we discussed in this video is we discussed the save options, which consist of classic save, fast save, quick save, and background save. And again, quick save and background save, they're intended for distributed environments, um, but they work well whether you're in distributed environments or not. So for additional resources, you can uh, bring up KBA 5014704. This is the EDAX DM application integration, fast save, quick save, and background save. This goes over all of the different registry setting options. It goes over um, server registry keys if you're using HTTP. It also goes over compression on the DM server um, and turning that off if you want to increase performance, etc. The Office Documents Backup feature, auto save, save of unsaved documents feature. We actually have a video of this um, on YouTube. So um, go to YouTube, our YouTube channel, and you can watch that. Um, you can also get some documentation. Um, uh, just go to our eDocs forum and uh, search for, you can just search for autosave. Once you get to the forum, there's a little box. Just search for autosave, and you'll uh, get this, um, you'll get this comment, um, and um, you just click on the comment, and you'll see the documentation as an attachment. The upload discrepancy notification messages, the registry entries are documented at this location here. So right here. So again, um, the EDOXDM forum, please go to it, subscribe to it. We post all kinds of information there. We answer questions. Uh, we announce things. We post our latest hot fixes. We post our latest KBAs so that we can keep you in the know. Also, YouTube. Um, this is our, our YouTube channel. Go there. We're trying to post videos uh, about once a month, if not more. So um, go there. Subscribe. Um, LinkedIn. Uh, we're on LinkedIn. There's a link for that. You can also go to the EDOC specific LinkedIn page. So just go to LinkedIn and you should be able to find Open Text EDOCs. In closing, I want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for attending my EDOCs training session. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of when and why you would want to implement one save option over another. It's easy with eDocs.